KM0 FXP, welcome to my videos learning the DigiPi interface system by KM6LYW. And today I just want to show you an unboxing of my, and we're just on the, the listing here, I'll just minimize a bit there. There's the hat and it says here, Radio Digimode APRS FTA FT4 WinLink ETC by KM6LYW. And remember, this does work via your browser. So once you've set it up, you can go off, put in the IP address, anywhere in your home. If you learn how to interface it outside your home, you could do that as well. And, and then you're, you're using all these different modes, providing your rig, your rig or your radio is turned on. There are some, uh, some cables as well, and you do have to sort of tinker a bit to make one, but I'm sure we can do this with some, with some time and effort. I know it's on top of the board, look, you've also got this little device, which to me looks like GPS, but I need to check. And you've got another little device here that plugs into it. And I saw them there loose in the box. So let's have a look what's inside the box. Oh yeah, and also before I forget, you've got the RS-232 connector just here. And then this is the box where you can make it. Uh, so there you go. So this video really, it's just an, an unboxing. And you can see the hat that I've used as well. And this hat will works great. And it will also fit on to, onto a a Raspberry Pi 3B. So let's take a look inside the box. Okay, so that's the one I, I normally use. It's all programmed up. You just load an image onto an SD card. So let's just take that out of the way. And we'll open up this box. Like so take everything out of the box. So this is exactly how it's come. I haven't opened it yet. Like so just put everything on here. Just chuck it there. So Everything's as expected. You've got the, the two module units just there on the left. So you will take out the packaging and the main unit here. And there's your, these are one of these 232s that you can, you know, it's basically like a DIY 232 cable. Let's take that out of the box. Like so. Now I did pay extra to get all the extra bits, if that makes any sense. Um, you can just buy the 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 board. I wanted all the the extra bits, and look at that! How cool that is! So yeah, I don't know where to start. I need to get the pie in there. <laughs> There's my two three two connector. These buttons here, I'm guessing, are, are basically the same as these buttons. You can get these screens on AliExpress, by the way. Pi TFT 1.3, they're only about seven pound bargain, if you ask me. So yeah, you've got the extra bits in there that we need to plug in. Let's just open up what we get here. So you've got the, the GPS module just here. You've got the pressure sensor, which is the BME 680. That looks to me like your GPS antenna. That's your module. That's the GU GTU8, which looks like it's going to just plug in here, like so. And here, the case you do pay extra, but it's worth it, isn't it? Proper DigiPi. That will go there, is my guess. Pressure, so you can have weather type stuff. And uh, this is your adapter box. Did some work making different cables for different radios. The first one I'll probably do is just for a Bofung, to be honest. The idea is that you can interface to uh, any ordinary radio, just an ordinary radio, uh, and transmit packets. So that's going to be, and receive, of course. Pretty cool. Now, when you're ordering, you can order a case for a Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 5. That's what I'm seeing. I'm pretty sure I ordered the 4. So I'll have to dig that out. I'll probably just buy another used one. So I won't, I'm going to take it apart because I want you to see it when it's open. I've got my little Allen key here. I'm going to whip these four out. One, two, three, four. And if you look inside, they do the, you know, the, the bolts go right through to the base. We'll get them out. Quite long little bolts lift it off so that's the base that's where your pie is going to go 
See if we can take the board out completely. Just loosen that a bit. It's quite it's a very unique design they've come up with, isn't it? The colours of the of the uh, of the case. And there you go. Got the board out. Looking for the connector for the, what we've got here. Let's turn it around. L kit sawparts.com Winlink FTA SSTV APRS Revision 1.01 1 .01. 232 there. That's your hat. Your, and your TFT screen. Which actually is a different screen. Although it's this, it looks the same size. The buttons are actually separate here. And let's find the, I'm trying to find the connector for the GPS, which is just there. See it? Clipped under there. Um, you could probably tuck that in somewhere. That's a GTU8 that I ordered with it. There you go, BM680 pressure. I've got my Pi 4 here, so it just sits on the edge like that. I need to get it right, like so, and then when it's in the case, let's see if we can get it in the case. So there's the case. The pie would sit on top, and then this goes over. So let, <laughs> yeah, I just I just don't want to muck it up. That's all. So let's do it. Okay, I'm going to put it on top. Now I feel like I've got something wrong. <laughs> There's a look, it's like a castle. So it looks like I'm going to need to undo these. Those bits will eventually go in these gaps here. Now I took them off as you can see. So let's put them in situ and when you're sort of moving this around I'll be careful not to break off these buttons and see these you've got some joiners here I think there's different configurations that you can do as well using these sort of pins here. So let's just get our gold pins and I, I feel like it was going to poke through like that, okay? Poke through like that and then that's going to screw screw back down basically. So let's, let's just do that, S screw them in. They were quite stiff coming out but going back in they seem alright. There's probably a proper spanner for doing these up isn't there? But anyway, doing them as tight as I can with my fingers. One, two, three, four. So in the end, in the end, I realised that it wasn't the four I ordered. It was actually the five. It's slightly out when it comes to lining up this section. But if you get my five here, that lines up perfectly. So we're putting that in now. Raspberry Pi five. Okay, Pi five fitted it like a glove. I just ordered another Pi five because I just they're the latest one. I've also just put the the DigiPi image on that SD card using Bellina. I've made lots of videos doing that. So we are getting there. Let's put the, the hat on now. Going to go like so. They've got like an extender there that, to make it to make the pins reach. I think, but they can only go down so far because of the you know because of the metal or the brass. Let's call it. Connectors there. So I'm not sure if these long bolts go all the way down. I suppose they will, will they? Let's try one. Right, so mind you, we've got to do that on the outside, haven't we? So we'll put the cover on. Hopefully, I haven't forgotten anything. Cover on. My biggest worry was actually breaking the buttons. Covers on. SD card is in. And then we're just going to put them back in and hopefully they will just go all the way down. 
as they were. Let's get them in. All right, that's all assembled, looks solid. USB-C to power it. Oh, there's a USB-C here, I never noticed that. And here, and then you've got your HDMI ones there. You need an adapter to have an external monitor. So let's put in into the right holes where you can't get it wrong, really. So you've got the BME680 going here. That's the right amount of pins, I believe. Let's get it right. Yeah, that's in there. Then you've got the GPS module. The antenna is going to go on. Try and keep my hands out of the way. On here. Quite fiddly. Just gone into there. GPS module. Like so. I think we're ready to power this up. Now the firmware I've got on there, or the image, just go to DigiPi and 1.8.3 I've got on there. And join the patron page. You can see it, there's a link, direct link there. And join the community. So let's just plug in the USB-C. I'm still curious to know why there's one on here. I've never used that one before. So you can see it coming to life. Well, I saw you see the GPS model module light up. Give it a minute and see what happens. And looking, you can see how to make the cables that you and, and the photograph they show you has about four or five is it TRS type cables coming out the other end. Also in the box is this USB, USB-C there. And these, these items are, are for the 232 connector. And there's some feet as well you can put on the bottom, which we'll do that in a bit. Some feet just here. Yeah, so it did come to life. It's given me an IP address. Um, I had to move the USB-C to the this one here so that is that actually an, an a HDMI sort of for viewing what is that one for I'm gonna have to look it up aren't I but look you can see it's working and I've put that IP address into my computer oh it's gone straight into Digibuy TNC so I think I'm gonna plug in my 705 fingers crossed that that's what I used with this but ultimately it's all up and running. We get the feet on there. Put come in the packet. Stop it scratching our surfaces. Very professional. There they are. They're all on there. I'm going to get the USB cable and plug it into our 705. There you go. It's. I wonder what that does. Ah, oh, of course. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, maybe I'll put that in upside down, but you have a little holder for the GPS antenna, and then we've got this. I wonder what this does, this little hole here. Um, find out soon. In my 705, I've actually added the USB-C adapter, which is very handy. If you notice, the Icon 52's come out with USB-C, so they, they're going to bring out the 705 with USB-C. You wait and see. Right, we're all connected. Out of the box, Digipi does come pre-configured for the 705. If you press, let me think now, because I've not used this one, but if you press one of the buttons, look, it'll give you the, the IP the IP address which you just put into my computer and we're seeing this on that IP address so it's working straight away that's enough for this video but you can see how via my browser I can select all these different programs you turn them on with the on button then you click down here to what you want to use and that the DigiPi sets everything up for you and you'll see here that it now says FTA on on screen thanks for watching lots more to come bye for now